What's up guys, it's Steve over at Disney. I am here today with my mom, and today we are talking about an experimental prototype community of the city of tomorrow. No city, just experimental oh my prototype God. community right, start of over. tomorrow. No, it's good. What is, what is it? Experimental prototype yeah. community, community of, of tomorrow. tomorrow. That is what we're talking about today. And now that I have that officially underway, and that could be a blooper, but we're not gonna go with bloopers today. We're talking, yes, Epcot. We're gonna talk our favorite things to do at Epcot. So without any further ado, and without any more stammering from me, let's dive into three things that we absolutely have to do when we go to Epcot. Let's go. So yeah, I uh, I saw it. I couldn't resist uh, buying it. So you know, I like it. I do too. I uh, your brother might not. Yeah. So you know, truth hurts sometimes. So <laughs> so uh, speaking of truths and some things sometimes being left out. Uh, yeah. Let's talk our favorite things to do in Epcot. And remember, guys, this is our favorite things to do in Epcot and things that we consider can't miss. Yeah. However, our can't miss may not be your can't miss. So in the comments section, let us know what you think and what you can't miss at Epcot because yeah. the best- uh, Yeah, uh, our things are different. Absolutely things we can't miss. Absolutely. So. And the best the best part about Disney is learning what makes it great yeah. for other people and kind of working that into your own vacation. So we got to talk for so. a <laughs> So let's start at number three. And would you like to start? With your number three, would you like? Sure. All right. Um, so I had a very hard time with this whole, my three favorite things to do at Epcot thing because, and not because I love everything to do in Epcot. I love Epcot. I love Epcot. I just couldn't find three favorite things to do. Like, you know, I was like, oh, I had, like I had um, the Seas with Nemo and Friends down and then I crossed it out because I liked it when it was the Living Seas better. I did too. I actually agree with that. I thought about imagination. I liked the old one better. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about the land. <laughs> I liked it when they had a driver better before it was all like automated and there was no driver. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah. I don't, you know, I don't like Swarm. I like Test Track, but I like the old version better. I did like the old version of Test Track. Wow. Yeah. And there's a lot of things like, so, <laughs> a lot you know, a lot. I mean, you don't remember like Horizons and all that, like oh, there was all these great things in Epcot that I loved, 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 you know, um, veggie fruit fruit, like the, the kitchen cabaret was called veggie fruit fruit, veggie veggie, fruit. like all these things when you were little <laughs> that I loved. What was it? a terrifying ride with the girl with the splinter? What was that? Body Wars is what it was called. <laughs> yeah. No, that I was what you were gross. talking about. I'm like, um, so there was things that I loved about Epcot that aren't there anymore. So I had a hard, hard time with this. And you'll see by my three top picks that you're going to be like, well, okay. But maybe once it's all done, because it's really under construction. Yes. Yeah, it really is. It's going through a huge revamp right now. Huge revamp right now. So. And so I just want to say on that revamp that uh, the Guardians coaster is coming. It looks great. Will I go on it? I don't know. I'm getting kind of old. I'm a little nervous. I'll probably go on it once and be sick to my stomach. They could do anything Marvel. They could just be like, hey, look, yeah, here's yeah. a cutout of Marvel characters, and I'd pay to go and stand. Yeah, next to and it. that's just not my thing. I'm very excited about that. Ratatouille. I mean, I think I'd like oh, seeing yeah. Ratatouille when it opens. Um, God, that line's going to be a nightmare. Yeah, though. but. But it's going to be fun. That, that it'll ride be looks fun, amazing. But I don't, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I like what they're doing in the pavilions. Visually, Epcot is beautiful. Like the and then the other thing is like they used to have this um, parade at night with puppets that I loved. Oh yeah. You know, there's so many things. 
And I know things change, but it seems like Epcot. Epcot's really like, changed. When we first got married, they um, there was a daytime show with with in the lagoon with like kites and people on jet skis and. Well, I think they're kind of bringing that not in daytime, but I think the new show that they're doing. There's the old, kite. the old new show. I think we had yes, has kites and people on jet know, skis. This, this so does, it, that must have been like a throwback kind of thing to like look, look, hey, we used yeah, to do this. Yeah, no, it wasn't again. because it was during the day. It was much different. Yeah, and um, the new stuff in the lagoon is blocking. Um, I have high hopes for it, but it's blocking the view. I, <laughs> I like it. I like the new stuff in the lagoon because it just looks like it's going to be insane. But this is supposed to be our three, three favorite things, our three must-dos. Here I am like, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We're... So my, my, my number three is having a margarita in Mexico. Of course, that's my number three, right? But not just any margarita. The um, In La Cava del Tequila, the La Cava Avocado te, um, margarita. Oh, it's tequila, melon liqueur, fresh avocado and lime. Served frozen with hibiscus salt. Delish. It's so smooth. It's not like frap consistency. It's not like frozen margarita consistency. It's. You really do like it though. Like that really is like, like every time yeah. we go, you get one of those margaritas. We... The avocado margarita. Yeah, yeah that's it's, my favorite it's... one. It looks great. It's delicious. You just won't try it because it's, it's avocado. If I told you it was, you know, vanilla ice cream margarita, you'd probably try it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm not an avocado guy. No. But I am a big fan. Um, I do like the look, and I think that's really like a great pick for you. Uh, number three for me is um, soaring. Um, I I can understand. Yeah. So <laughs> soaring to me is bordering on a thrill ride because I'm terrified <laughs> of heights. So you take off and like you're up there. You're like 20, uh, 30 know, feet in yeah. the air. Um, <laughs> And every time my shoes feel like I'm gonna fall off. I've never had my shoes fall off my feet in my entire life. And every time I'm up there, I'm like, my shoes are gonna fall off. Like today's the day. See, you're worried about it. I can't even go on it. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it's that wide open space and I have like an anxiety attack every time. Yeah. <laughs> so I take a, my shoes off because so I'm afraid of it too. <laughs> there's a trick I go with. So when me and dad go, dad always likes to get the best seat, which means that you have to ask to sit in the, the middle, middle and the, the front. front so that you're the highest in the air and there's no feet in your way. So you're literally as in dead center of the screen. If you ask the cast member at the front of the line, like right before you start getting yeah, a sign. If you're not. Right, if, yeah. like, if you just go, hey, and like feed them some lie that it's your first time or something, <laughs> they'll, they'll stick you at the front. And then like, you get the best seat in the house. Um, so little, Which is also the worst seat in the house. If you're afraid of heights, yeah, it really, it really, because it then it's nothing. You don't see people yeah. above you. It is just. Yeah, I know. Why He's done it to me too. I've had to, like, I hate to even say it. You know the little kid strap. Mm. I have to use that because I'm afraid I'm gonna fall. And then I hold on for dear life. Yeah, who else does that? One of our friends does that. Yeah, one of the Larus. I yeah, think it's Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> That's what I thought it was too. And I had to hold on like for dear life, and I I, I don't watch the thing because I get. Because again, it like it almost has to wide open. Almost, worse. Like I feel like I'm gonna pass out, so I keep my eyes closed. And your father will talk to me, and I'll be like, "Shut up! Don't talk to me." He'll go, but not even a word. I'm like, "Don't say a word. Don't talk to me. Tell me when it's over." We actually do like Epcot's. Contrary to it's a it's great. I only go on it so I because I don't want it to go. You know I feel bad right. going on alone. And every once like every few years I'm like oh maybe I uh, you know maybe I've gotten but over you that. love to but fly. I haven't. I know. So weird. Well, because when you're flying, I guess you're you don't not fly though. So like I guess yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So all right, we'll yeah. we'll concede. Number two, let's dive into. Wait, wait. I'll take it. French ice cream. There is a little ice cream stand in France and it's there's not in the two. back. Yeah, there's two. There's the one near the bakery, right? Not that one. There's the one that serves the crepes. Where you can get the yeah. crepes is where you get the soft serve vanilla ice cream and a waffle cone. And it's fantastic because it's not like typical ice cream. It's not made with milk. It's made with custard, I believe, right? No, it's just, that's just what I told you since you were little because yeah. I liked it. Oh, well, it tastes better than regular soft serve. It really does taste it's, better than soft serve. It's just a high-end soft serve, I think. Is it? Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. Something about it, like, Sorry. I, it's <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of magics being unraveled here on Disney. Um, yeah, it's... It is like a custard consistency. It is. Though. It's thick. It's thick, and it's very, it has, like, a lot of vanilla in it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just like a higher amount of vanilla or something. It's something because yeah. it is something about it that it's I'm like. It's not your Dairy Queen. Yeah, you're not getting like cr like garbage so yeah. soft serve here. Like this is it's like. It's not like McDonald's fluffy. Yeah, it's really good <laughs> it's, soft it's, serve. It's really good. Which is really like threw me off. So, like we never get soft serve. Like, you and I aren't soft serve ice cream kind of people. No. And I pass up regular ice cream for this. Like. Yeah. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Like that's yeah. yeah. And the crepes aren't bad either. So, yeah. and you can actually get them together. So, there you go. That would be my number two. I'm a big fan Your of number two. Uh, my number two is roaming around the countries. Now, Epcot, I love the countries. I mean, when I think of going to Epcot, that's what I do. I like roaming around the countries. I like going in the back. I like seeing the rides and the shows. I like um, looking for specialty items that you can only get in that country, from that country. Whether it's a, a snack or um, a trinket or, you know, whatever. Um, and meeting when the countries had the employees, from, the cast members from that country. It was great meeting those people and, you know, talking to them about where they were from and how they got here and how long, you know, just their backstory. That was something I love doing in Epcot. Yeah, it's a really... Just, and just roaming around and seeing. I mean, the architecture yeah, that's, is, is beautiful. That's kind of and what I was going to say, was the art of the entire thing. How yes. different every pavilion and we has have to be. A, we have a, a family friend whose family um, is from Morocco. And that's who they're from. Right? Yeah. yeah, and he said it's like spot on. Yeah, it's... He was shocked. He was shocked. He watched a video that I took and he was like, I can't even believe that is yeah, it's, what it, it looks like when we go to visit. It really is something to like really look at. Like the only one that I look at and I'm like, I don't really see too much like it's like America. Um, but like America is like back in the day. Yeah, back in the day, it's like <laughs> colonial style. Like it's so nice, but all of them are so nice and fun and bright. Um and so different. And there's so, different. so much like culture in these tiny yes. little like locations. Yes. It's so worthwhile to do. And yeah, it seems like a broad thing to say, but like it's all, it absolutely is a must do. You have to, you have to go around the country. Yeah, to go and, and go in the back. A lot of times people just go in the, you know, the skim the front of it. Work your way in the back. There's things back there. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, me and dad, just a few trips ago, I think not this past trip, the trip before it, we were in Morocco. Yeah. And we there's were like, a there's a right restaurant there. in the back, <laughs> yeah. and me and him were doing so. We were just kind of like, oh, let's check it out. And we went back there, and like, we're blown away by this yeah. restaurant. And I'm just like, I've never been in it before. Oh, how about Japan? When you go like in the back, and there's a store, you go all the way back, and then you come out the store, and up on the top of the hill, there's a fast food right place, right? And there's tables up there. Yeah, and there's, it's just a lot going on. That and I think people, of, I mean, they just kind of like people just tend to speed walk. Around, around the, the perimeter. Yeah. Canada with the waterfalls. Yeah, there's a lot to yeah, do. The gardens and if you take a minute. Yeah. yeah. If you take a minute. Um, Absolutely. And then they have that band in the back in the United Kingdom, like not during well, the pandemic, but like. Well, they have different ones now. That. that yeah, I know it's not like the British yeah. invasion anymore yeah. as it used to be, which was kind of cool. Yeah. But I mean, there's things. There's there's a lot to do, and I think people who are just at a park for rides are missing the point. Right. Or, you know, oh my, you know, you guys, you and your brother, we always brought you in the countries and showed you and you, you always found stuff to do. And I mean, cast members were always so willing to share things with you. I mean, it was, yeah, it was, it's, it was, it's I awesome. mean, you were two kids that, you know, people like, oh, my kids don't like it. Bring your kids to Epcot. Yeah, I think that, honestly, I think there's a lot to do for kids. Like, we'd play with the marionettes in China, or we'd play, you know, we were always doing something. We always yeah, found things always to do. Yeah, there's always things to do, and... And so, and now they have, like, the art and stuff around and all that. Like, I just think it's really cool. Yeah. So, I'm a big fan of that. Yep, absolutely. So, uh, number one. So, now we're at... My, like, my favorite peak. thing, yeah. Yeah. Is going to festivals at Epcot. 
So there's different, th there's almost throughout the entire year now, there's Epcot's going on. Um, January starts the International Festival of the Arts, and that runs through um, February, I believe. March starts the Flower and Garden Festival, and that runs through July. August starts the Food and Wine, that runs through um, October, and then November, October, November. And then November is the Festival of um, the Holidays. And I love the festivals. They celebrate art, flowers, food, music, you know, the holidays. There's different countries coming in. There's different foods coming in. There's different music. Music. There's artists. There's just so much to do. So much to do at the festivals. Those are, without a doubt, my favorite things at Epcot. If you had to pick one. <gasps> If you had to pick one, let us know, by the way, in the comments, which festival is your favorite. Um, ooh, I, it, oh, <laughs> it's a tough one. It's a tough one. The, I don't know, when they had music and stuff like that, I really loved the music at the Food and Wine and the Flower and Garden, and um, it'll be hard for me to pick. I, it'd be one of those two, though. I can't pick. I can't and I won't. I, if I had to pick, I'd pick the Festival of the Holidays. I love Christmas decorations. So you throw oh, Christmas decorations yeah, up. Yeah, that too. So I, I, I don't want to pick. I change my mind. I'm not picking. <laughs> so, well, let us know down below again what your favorite festival is. And you yeah. know, we want to hear why too. So my number one, I really was torn between two things. So, um... I was going to go with Spaceship Earth. I actually have Spaceship Earth written down. How can you not say like the big ball? Uh, but for me, I love the American Adventure. Love it. I've like started to love history as I've gotten a little older. And so I don't know, like I actually, I find myself, I thought about it going on. Well, oh, well, I guess Spaceship Earth is communication more than history, although it's the history of communication. I know, it was so hard. It's both. Uh, I would go with both. Oh, he's not going to pick either. I, I, you know what? I just found myself, I've been on the American Adventure every time I go, but I missed Spaceship Earth this time. I do have two when it's my nap time. Yeah, it's a good place to nap too. Um, but I think the music in it's really cool. Uh, I really like that. I like the stories. I like... They need to update. Well, not update it. They but... fix their animatronics. Yeah. But I um, love it. Like, I look love... look to that picture to put, drop it in. I know. If I have it. I, I love the American Adventure, but I love Spaceship Earth because it is the history of communication, which is just, I mean, incredible, yeah. right? And there's t-shirts all over the place that reference Spaceship Earth, and it's the icon of the yeah. park. Yeah, I don't know. I can't choose. I can't choose. I can't I mean, this, this is a hard a, one. This was a hard one. This is a hard one. Well, like, the whole thing was hard. I mean, my favorite things, the three things that I picked, I love. The three things you picked, other than Soren, I love. Yeah, it's... The two things you picked, I don't like Soren. It's so... But I understand it. I understand why people love it. Yeah, and I can see, I could see, like, Guardians of the Galaxy becoming one of these when it opens. Yeah. So, Soren will probably get bumped. Right yeah. out. I don't know, I just, I feel bad that they change so much. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, you know? like... You know, you're always trying to stay current, though, and I think that's kind of Disney's thing. I think a couple things they swung and missed on, like, imagination. imagination. Yeah, they blew that one. Um, and they even, like, when that happened, they openly kind of admitted, yeah, we we messed this up. Let's let's kind of get a, a little bit back. We want find it back. Yeah, I, I think it's time now. Like, enough time's gone by. Like, why not yeah. do another revamp? What's old is new again. We want Dreamfinder. Yeah, retro is always in. Yeah. So let's start a petition. Sort of petition. Imagine that. <laughs> I feel like so many people would sign that, like if it got out there. Yeah. But we could go on and on and on about all this stuff. However, we do not have that kind of time, and we won't take up that much of your time. So, final thoughts. Go to Epcot. Go to Epcot. Bring your family. Go enjoy. Eat, drink, be merry. I think that's really like the best way to put it. Guys, thank you so much for com coming onto our channel today, giving us uh, your time, your audience. Um, like, subscribe, share. Uh, we are Diz Any on Facebook and here on YouTube, and we are Diz underscore New England on Instagram. Uh, give us a follow there. 
um, and reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so, so, so much. Have a great day, week, month, whatever it may be.